ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. For the first time within the memory of man, the stage from Rimrock to Red Pine was ahead of schedule. Amos Carter, the driver, was trying to impress his glamorous passenger, Mademoiselle Marianne Mornay, the opera singer who was making theatrical history with her tour of the Far West. Uh, miss! I mean, Mamzelle! Hey, Mamzelle! Well, you seem to have made the usual conquest, my dear. You better speak to the fellow before he falls off the coach. Yes, Amos, is it something you wish? I just wanted to tell you, Mamzelle. We're 15 minutes ahead of schedule. A week? Oh, monsieur, you are wonderful drivers. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Come on, John Morton. Get You're right, Kimasabi. Girl singer doing Red Pine this afternoon. When does she give her concert? Tonight. Me hear much talk about her. Them say her wear jewels that belong to Queen. She also has a remarkably good voice. But I suppose no one mentioned that. You hear her sing? Yes. She started her tour while you were visiting Whitefeather. She's attractive and talented, and she's bringing good music to the West. But that's not why I wanted information about her. Something wrong, Kima Seven? During her concert at Kingston, the bank was robbed. Wealthy homes were burglarized when she sang at Canyon City and at Fallbrook. You think there's some connection between concerts and robberies? Yes. I've noticed some rather odd things about Miss Mornay's troupe. Some medicine shows operate only so Confederates can pick pockets in the audience. Mm, but this not medicine show. But the same principle could apply. Instead of picking pockets, they rob a town while everyone's at the concert. What do we do? When Miss Mornay reaches Red Pine, I'm going to see her. Perhaps it sounds like trouble. Let's go. him covered. Come out with your hands up. Come on, hurry up. What do you want? All right, lady, hand over them jewels. My, my jewels. You didn't think I wanted your autograph, did you? My good man, those gems are world famous. You'll never be able to dispose of them. I'll take my chances. Hand them over. I will not give them to you. Well, then I'll take them. Let's get out of here. Are you all right, Miss Mornay? Is it said in America the men compete for the privilege of robbing? I'm not an outlaw. Then what are you? What is it that you want? Only to see that you reach Red Pine safely, Miss Mornay. I don't understand, but please accept our thanks. Perhaps Miss Mornay would uh, accept a suggestion. But certainly, monsieur. Such a display of jewelry would be more appropriate for the theater than for travel. If you are critical of my taste, monsieur, be assured that... I'm not criticizing your taste. In this desolate country, to wear jewelry is to invite trouble. Mademoiselle's public expects her to wear jewels. Oh, I see. Uh, please accept some token of appreciation for what you've done. No, thank you. Then we'll be on our way. Mademoiselle? Uh, I am afraid I have been, oh, how you say, impolite. Please forgive. Of course. Adieu, et merci. All right, driver, go ahead. Well, at last, the fabulous, the glamorous, the phony Mademoiselle Mornay has met a man who didn't swoon when she smiled at him. Do you think he suspected anything? Oh, I should he? For a publicity man, Rex makes quite a convincing bandit. I don't like it. It was too close a call. In more ways than one, my dear. In more ways than one. The girl acts plenty strange. One minute angry, the next minute smile. And she was a little confused. After all, we did interfere. 
We only interfere with bandits who try to hold up stage. I'm not so sure. Did you notice what Miss Mornay did when she saw us? Uh, her take off earrings and put hand over necklace. And the outlaws chased the stage for over a mile. She had time to remove her jewelry and hide it in the coach, yet she didn't. Or not try to hide jewels till she see us. Neither Miss Mornay's reflexes are incredibly slow, or she was quite willing to be robbed by someone she knew. Then hold up fake. That's right. We follow a trail of fake hold up men now? Yes, Tonto. And unless I'm mistaken, the trail will lead to Miss Mornay's hotel in Red Pine. Let's go. What happened? There was a holdup. A holdup? They tried to steal my jewels. But you still have your jewels. The masked man on the white horse came to our rescue. Why, that'll be great publicity. I'll just... Rex, I do not wish to talk about it. Well, Mamselle. I'm uh, Sheriff Guthrie. I'm afraid you'll have to talk about it. I need a full description of these road agents. Well, Sheriff, I'm Samuel DeWitt, Mamselle's manager. Wouldn't it be possible for the driver to give you the information you need? Why, sure, Sheriff. I see the whole thing. Well, I suppose that would do. Oh, merci, me foi. I really feel quite, quite ill. And I hope you won't have to cancel your concert. Oh, no. I, I, I could not disappoint my public. Uh, please, Monsieur DeWitt, my room. Gentlemen. You hear that, folks? Despite what has happened, Mademoiselle Mornay will not disappoint you. She is not going to cancel her concert. Well, how was I? You're improving, Maggie. Frankly, I thought I was sensational. Say, that masked man almost shot me. Who was he, anyway? I don't know, but I don't like this kind of publicity stunt. Is that so? Sending a sheriff and posse after non-existent bandits, it just isn't right. Don't you like the way we're handling your uh, career? Oh, of course I do, Sam. I'm having a wonderful time, and I'm getting a chance to sing, only... Well, well, if you're unhappy, you can always go back to that dance hall in Abilene. Oh, I didn't mean that, Sam. You know I'm grateful. Then let's hear no more about it. Come along, Rex. Rex. How much from a bank in Rimrock? Almost 8,000. It's in my room. Hello, Zeke. I hear we had good luck at Rimrock. Uh, much better than we had this afternoon. Now, we had to stage that robbery. Now, if anyone tries to connect us with the holdup, we look innocent and point out that the gang also tried to rob us. Well, here's the dough. Good. 7,843 bucks. Count it if you want. Ah, sure. Well, what have you got lined up here? The bank's too well guarded. I figure the safe downstairs is our best bet. Well, that's a little close to home, isn't it? Oh, what of it? You and Maggie will be at the theater. Zeke and I will have left town to handle publicity in Rock Spring. Look, this time, can't we double back before we get too far out of town? I'm getting saddle sores. All right, but be careful. Now, don't worry about us. But what happens when Maggie finds out we're using her to cover these robberies? We get rid of her. We get ourselves another ambitious young singer. My hunch was right, Tonto. That's the rear of the Red Pine Hotel, and those look like the outlaw's horses. Let me tie a horses behind rock. Good. Them same horses? Yes. And now they're hitched to the buckboard that belongs to Miss Mornay's publicity man. That proved them crooks. We need more evidence than this to connect them with those robberies. What do we do? I'll call on Miss Mornay. You know her room? She'll have the only suite in the hotel. You wait here. You? What, what is it that you want? 
I'd like to talk to you. But I am resting now. Could you not return later, please? I'll be brief. Really, monsieur? My friend and I followed the men who held you up. Yes? Their trail led directly to this hotel. Their horses are outside hitched to a buckboard that belongs to your troop. The horses must have been stolen. I don't think so. What do you think? That you arranged a fake holdup. How dare you make such an acquisition? Would you rather I go to the sheriff? If you wish. Very well. Uh, wait a minute. You're right. That holdup was a publicity stunt. You've lost your accent. Now, that's phony, too. Please, don't give me away. This tour is the first decent break I've ever had. I'm sorry, Miss... Uh... Maggie Moran. I'm from Watsonville, Kansas. I put on that French accent because Sam said people won't come in all the reindeer, an American singer. I think he's wrong. Well, Maggie Moran almost starved to death. But Marianne Monet has been a big success. Perhaps I owe you an apology, Miss Moran. An apology? For a while, I thought you were a crook. But now I'm beginning to think you're being used by crooks. Well, what are you talking about? I'm convinced that the members of your troop are in back of these robberies that occur during your concerts. But that's impossible. Sam and I are always at the theater, and, well, Rex and Zeke are, are on their way to the next town. Those two travel in a peculiar way. They have to travel at night. They don't have to travel in circles. At some point, they always leave the main road. You followed them? I've tried without success. Well, if you think they're crooks, why don't you go to the sheriff? I have no proof. That's why I need your help. I couldn't be that disloyal. If these men are innocent, you will help them by proving it. If they're guilty, it's your duty to expose them. Just what is it you want me to do? Say something. Who is it? The boys are ready to leave for Rock Spring. Anything you want them to do for you there? No. Merci beaucoup. Ask him to come back as soon as they've gone. Sam. Yes? After they've gone, I would like to talk with you. Of course, Mademoiselle. It'll be dark soon, so drive carefully. We're always careful. Good luck. See you in Rock Spring. Do you think you'll be able to go through with it? Yes, but I just can't believe Sam's crooked. In about an hour, I'll have Tonto deliver a letter. Tell him the reaction to the test. Hope I can remember those figures. 6,000 at... Sam? Yes, mademoiselle. Un uh, moment, s'il vous plaît. Quick, that door leads to the balcony. Thank you. Good luck. Why don't you watch where you're going? Excuse me. Hey, you're the... I've decided to quit playing cat and mouse. What? Now that your little scheme is working, I want in on it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about 6,000 from that bank in Kingston, jewels from that house in Canyon City, and, and 2,000 from Fallbrook. I want my cut. I see. Now, then we understand one another. May I ask how you found out? Oh, it wasn't hard to figure. I, I don't believe you, Maggie. Who tipped you off? Nobody. I'm counting on a 25% cut. I misjudged you, Maggie. You're smarter than I thought. A woman can have brains, too, you know. What job are we pulling tonight? The safe downstairs. Rex says there's plenty of money in the... Who is it? Uh, his name is Carter, the stage driver. Oh, yeah. Come in. Oh, howdy, Mr. DeWitt. Oh, and Mamzelle. <laughs> oh, I was just here to the sheriff saying that he wouldn't have to question either one of you about the holdup. Merci, Amos. It is most kind of you to inform us. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Oh, say, by the way, uh, I just saw that uh, masked man leaving. Did you find out who he is? The masked man? Yes, I saw him uh, coming from your veranda. Oh, you must have been mistaken. Oh, no, I wasn't, no, because he run right smack dab into me. Like to knock me down. Well, we didn't find out anything. Thanks for coming by. Oh, that's all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, ma'am. Yeah. You 
You neglected to tell me you had a visitor. I didn't, Sam. I... You're a rotten liar, Maggie. Just what did you and the masked man cook up between you? Nothing. He just wanted to... Oh, so he was here. He tipped you off about our robbery scheme, didn't he? No, Sam. I, I swear... Don't bother, Maggie. I don't know exactly what you and the masked man are up to. But you're not leaving this room until I find out. What are you going to do, Sam? Sooner or later, he'll try to look you up. When he does, I'll take care of him. An hour later, it was dark, and the streets emptied as people went home to get ready for the concert at the Opera House. The Lone Ranger knew that it was time for his next move. We've waited long enough, Tonto. Now you know what you're to do. Huh. If I don't show up at the concert, people will ask questions. If the masked man doesn't come here, we'll go to the theater as scheduled. But this gun goes with you, even while you're singing. Answer the door. Make whoever it is come all the way in so I can see. Well, go on. Yes? This letter for you. Thank you. Come in. My friends say you tell me what Cook's plan for tonight. I... Uh... Get your hands up. Now draw your gun and put it on the table. I'm sorry. He had a gun on me and I... Shut up. Here, tie him up. You mean not do anything. Why you do this? Don't try to bluff me, M. Den. We're going to wait right here for your masked friend to get curious. Go on, Maggie. Tie his hands behind him. And tie them tight, because I'll check the ropes. Go on, hurry it up. Tight now. When Tonto failed to return, the Lone Ranger knew that he would have to change his plans. As time passed and the Lone Ranger did not appear, the strain began to tell on Samuel DeWitt. What's keeping him? He should have tried something by now. Probably waiting outside. That's too bad. I had hoped to include him in the robbery. What robbery? The headlines will read, Noted opera singer killed by Indian in burglary attempt. You wouldn't dare. You underestimate me, my dear. Naturally, I'll shoot the Indian as he tries to escape. Then I'll try to... Yes? Are you all right? Yes, of course. May I speak to you for a moment? Go on. Where's Tonto? Didn't he bring you a letter? Put up your hands. Step into the room. Put your guns on the table. One at a time. Easy now. Now the other. Careful. He's going to kill us and claim there was a burglary. He's not going to kill anyone. You're wrong, mister. These robberies have been very profitable. Do you think I'd be stupid enough to just walk into such an obvious trap? You're here, aren't you? And so is the law. What? When Tano didn't come back, I went to the sheriff. Since when do masked men go to the law? I often work with the law. The sheriff is on the balcony outside that window. Try that old trick on somebody else. It's no trick. Raise your hands. <laughs> Did he get you? Only in the shoulder. I'll be back as soon as I lock him up. Come on, DeWitt. Are you all right, Tonto? Me fine. Did you find out what they planned for tonight? Yes, Rex and Deke are going to rob the safe in the hotel. Good. We'll be waiting for them. You'd better start for the opera house. You're going to be late. Oh, I couldn't sing after all this. If you don't, they might suspect a trap. Oh. You're not only going to sing tonight, Maggie. You're going to tell the audience who you really are. Oh, but I wouldn't dare. You're proud to be an American, aren't you? Oh, yes, of course, but I... Then stop posing as a foreigner. Give America a chance to be proud of you. We'll come to the Opera House as soon as we've captured Zeke and Rex. Come on, Tonto. The final number of the concert was being greeted by enthusiastic applause when the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and the Sheriff arrived at the Opera House. What happened? We caught the two of them red-handed. Zeke made a full confession. 
Have you made your confession? Oh, but I couldn't. Well, they'd feel cheated if I told them the truth. Maggie, we must make people realize that America can create its own art. We don't have to import singers and painters and musicians from Europe. This is your chance. But they'll tear me to pieces. I've heard you sing. I think they like you in spite of your accent, in spite of all your publicity. Now, go ahead. Must I? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. I suppose you're all wondering what's happened to my French accent. Well, the truth is, I'm a fake. I'm not French. My name is not Marianne Monet. I'm just plain Maggie Moran from Watsonville, Kansas. I deceived you because someone said you wouldn't be impressed by an American singer, and, well, I'm, I'm sorry, and that's all. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you telling us all this? Because a friend of mine said that I should be proud to be an American, and I am proud. I don't care what happens. Well, good for you. I say hooray for Maggie. What about you folks? What? Hooray for Maggie. <laughs> well, they didn't hate me, but they're applauding. Of course they are. Well, where's, where's the mass man? He and Tonto had to leave. They asked me to say goodbye. Oh, I, I never even thanked him. I don't even know who he is. Well, I do. This isn't the first time he captured a gang of crooks or set people right with themselves. He's a truly great American, Maggie. He's the Lone Ranger. Thank you.